Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are doing the monthly guidance messages for the month of February. Now in this message, we are going to look at the energy surrounding you this month. We're going to see what's challenging you and what's coming in, working in your favor. I'll clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice, guidance moving forward. If that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, you're more than welcome to comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. All right, so we're going to dive right into Aries energy for this month of February and see what comes out for you. Most important message here for Aries spirit, what do my Aries friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. chariot the strength and the hermit so this is an energy here areas of accepting things as they are and moving forward very quickly very swiftly even though this hermit energy is present it's like that's just an energy of what's in alignment and what isn't okay i do feel like you pulled your energy back from a particular person in order to focus more on something new that was coming in and this is playing out very beautifully for you. Aries. We're going to see how this all plays out into the reading. We're going to go through and clarify for you. So the energy surrounding you at this time, Four of Cups, like you've withdrawn emotionally from a particular friendship or relationship in order to focus more on business, career, money, things that were more stable, more solid. Let's clarify this Four of Cups energy for Aries, please, and thank you. I will say that if this is having to do with a relationship that you're putting on pause or putting on the back burner, that this was holding you back from accomplishing your goals. It's like this person took up a lot of your time, a lot of attention, maybe even a lot of money now that you have all this free time it's like you're able to focus try not to get distracted because i do feel like there is a new person that is going to be entering into your life emotionally okay and you don't want to get caught up in distractions again especially if you want this to play out as like 10 of pentacles energy it's like you want long-term wealth, long-term financial gain, stable future, stable household, stable finances. Um, but this person was causing disruptions in your life that were not allowing things to connect in an appropriate manner. And a lot of times, guys, it's a lot about our thinking patterns. So if this person has you caught up in worry, stress, anxiety, fear, then just by you thinking about those negative aspects of life, it's blocking blessings from coming in. Now, by you walking away from this person, it's put you on the trajectory to accomplish the goals that you want to do accomplish. The biggest message here, Aries, is try not to get distracted when there this new person comes into your life because i feel like it's almost as if they sweep you off of your feet this could be an air sign aries leo sagittarius and you want to focus on long-term financial gain now what i will say is if this person is meant to be in your life they're meant to be on your path it's gonna happen 
you're not going to have to control the situation or control the outcome to get what you want, okay? It's going to come together. It's going to flow. It's going to be very easy. It's going to be very flowing. However, if this person isn't meant to be on your path, it's going to be very resistant, very chaotic. Mm -hmm. This person is going through something in their life that you're going to need to be at peace of mind when involved with this person. You're going to need to have that healthy amount of distance, okay? Especially if this is a new person coming in, you're going to want to take things slowly. So... Pay attention, okay? Focus on the positive aspects of life, the stable things that you're building. Don't allow this new connection to come in and sweep you off of your feet. They are in an area of their life where they're looking for a distraction at this time. And you need to be understanding of that, okay? It's going to take time to build. You don't want to get up, caught up in this Nine of Swords energy again because this Nine of Swords energy, Aries, is what blocks that Ten of Swords from coming in. Focus on what's in alignment with your path, with your purpose, and anything that may be confusing or uncertain, you have to put that on the back burner. Biggest message coming out here for you, Aries. Focus on the things that feel calm, cool, collective, that bring peace, not the things that bring uncertainty. So with that, soul journey message coming out for your reading is peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. This is a gentle reminder that balance in the mind is imperative in order for your soul to live in its true nature. At this time in your life, you are to learn the value of peace and quiet and the joy of being still. One can never be truly connected to source when the mind is engaged in unneeded chatter. Look around your life and be conscious of what elements are taking you away from the peaceful nature of your soul. Who or what is interrupting the solitude? It is time to recognize past hurts and perceived injustices. Your peace may also be fostered by change, your outside view. Create harmony around you physically with order and calm. Trust the voice of your higher self to create an environment in which you can truly be in tune with your soul. It's okay to create a bubble sometimes, guys. To accomplish the goals that we want to accomplish, to put ourselves on the right path, to... Release the people that are no longer serving to release those behavior patterns that are no longer serving. It's okay to create a safe, healthy bubble. Okay. It's equally as important to reach out when you feel ready. Okay. So understand Aries right now, there is a protection needed and that's fine. You're doing the right thing by protecting your energy by creating a bubble, okay? However, there's also going to come a time where you're going to want to get out of your bubble and, and intermingle with other beings. So keep that in mind as well. But right now, your peace is imperative for you through this time. So, Aries. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, for subscribing, for sharing the content. I do apologize for those of you that tried to watch the other monthly reading for Aries. So thank you guys for coming back. And I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste. Hey guys, so I just wanted to jump on and let you guys know about the book that I recently created. Now, this is a must-have for all tarot enthusiasts. You're going to get 15 unique spreads as well as an area to journal your reading along with journaling prompts to ask your guides during the reading. Let me just show you a little preview. The book 
is published on Amazon and is available now. So if you're interested in purchasing this book, I'm going to leave the link below in the description box. So let's dive into your reading. 